First, I want to say that your performance in Breakthrough was absolutely amazing. I literally felt everything. You truly embodied Joyce and John oh, in the way you portrayed you. your characters. And I also um, did some research and noticed that this is both of your first film. So, you know, how has this experience been? What has it been like? Well, to work with him has been torturous. Um, yeah. No, it's... Yeah, <laughs> I hear it every day. So. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> it's been so over, overwhelmingly wonderful for so many reasons. Uh, we get to portray real people who have gone through a real-life miracle. And to honor that and the responsibility in that has been challenging, but I think as actors that's what you always want. And then to have impacted people who see the film in a way that this true story has. And then of course there's working with incredible cast and with a, a crew who was relentless in you know, their work and uh, with Roxanne Dawson and as our director. I mean, all of it collectively has been what really I think every actor dreams of. For me it was just of course, working with Chrissy was really fun, and I learned a lot from her. Mm -hmm. And also, just yeah, seeing seeing how everyone, the whole cast, the whole crew, came together to to just build this story and and make it as real as possible. It was just it, that's in itself was a miracle. So that that was really amazing, and, and just meeting everyone and getting to portray this family and the story of the Smiths. It's just it was really fun to film. So as far as preparing for the role. Um, you know, I guess it might be different, you know, playing a fictional character. Was there anything that you did differently? You know, I just, as I do in every role, um, I just get out of the way, you know. Um, differently, uh, I think that I just allowed myself to be as vulnerable as possible, even more vulnerable than uh, previous work. Um, I didn't care what I was looking like when, you know, as Joyce prays over John's body. I, I, I don't care what snot was where and what hair was this and that I, it wasn't about that it was about this determination of of what she wanted which was her son to come back to life so i think i just continued to just get out of the way yeah that was something i i did different too i usually i care too much about my hair about <laughs> how i look this time they cut my hair like really short and i didn't care you know like i i wanted to get into the character as much as possible i wanted to look like him as much as possible and especially just seeing videos of John and getting to meet him and just trying to portray every little detail that he did, how he looked at his mom, how he, mm. how he, so just that, that was really important to me. And when I met him and we got to talk and hang out and like, he, he told me, wow, man, I'm, I'm really happy that, that you're playing my character. And I, that just made me really emotional and, and inspired to, to portray him in the right way. What do you hope people get from the film? Oh, there's so many beautiful through lines. In this film, I, I hope that they take away how important they are and how purposeful they are and how loved they are. You know, if we're on this plane of existence, there's a reason for that and that we're stronger together than we are apart. Yeah, <laughs> could have said it better than Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, yeah. You might have. You might have. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> the power of, yeah, the power of love, the power of a community and, and a mother's love. Um, that's just really strong to me, even if, if John didn't feel wanted, if John was was doubting his love he at the end i can see him change that's just something that i want people to to take from this is that you have a purpose in life and there's always going to be there there's always going to be a family member or someone there for you yeah 